Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be doing a reading here for you guys, July 22nd to the 25th. I see that someone's going to be doing their big one, making a big purchase. I'm hearing something about mink, like a mink jacket, mink bundles. Someone's going to revamp their closet here, okay? Let's see what the vibe is for the next few days. July 22nd to the 25th here for Virgo. But what's T? Someone here wants to mend fences with you. Someone may be buying you something new, expensive. Someone wants to spend their money on you. Someone <laughs> wants to take you out here yeah this person is observing you or how you dress how you look how you carry yourself number 52 and number 49 could be significant somebody somebody is just hanging back to observe but I, I'm getting the energy that someone wants to make things right here five plus two is seven so someone here is trying to think of a creative way to come together with you to have this reconciliation. This could be a friend. This could be a um, loved one, someone that's very really important to you that's in your life or um, potentially out of your life right now. Someone here feels like, you know, they want to take a chance, even if it's not for them. Because someone feels like an instability in the connection or in their own life here. <laughs> Someone's definitely unhappy with the dynamic. Someone has a power struggle. Someone's dealing with power struggle here. I'm here in raid. Is there interference? Someone's interfering with them starting over or having some type of new beginning there's some type of delay in some way shape or form Virgo maybe some of you are delaying this new beginning here what else for Virgo Holy Spirit I'm getting here someone has to be strategic to I don't know, there's something about playing fair. Someone doesn't want to do things the way that they used to. Someone's trying to do something way different. Okay, things got chaotic and out of balance before. Yeah. Someone's stuck in their ways. Someone keeps thinking about the dynamic of how things change. Someone may have anxiety low key. Someone has to take the risk of going the distance to tell the truth here, to have love. They need to sacrifice being truthful or honest with you or you with them. Let's get one more. Wow. So in some way, you bring harmony to this person's life. They're tired of going back and forth with you, okay? Someone may have a change of heart. You could. You may not think that this is the path that you need to be on. wants to tell you that you need to let go of something okay whatever it is that you're clinging on to there's a niggling feeling that's trying to tell you something that you may be ignoring okay and it seems like you may not be trusting yourself enough to know that you're doing what's right by disconnecting yourself from something you may be clinging on to the idea of you know how things were when they were good and not wanting to let go and create new memories here. 
Yep. But it seems like there are people that are talking shit about you and how you've changed and what you're doing now. And, you know, you moving like you're better than everybody else because you don't want anything to do with anyone else. Most problems are going to get resolved. Okay. We have Kite. Some of you may be going on vacation. You may need to defend yourself or put some walls up or put some boundaries in place here. We have December. Something may be, may be significant about December. Some of you may have worries or fear, or there could be a woman that um, sees you as a problem. I just saw a woman on the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing someone's shit. Their situation is gonna be all laid out on the table, or there's something that you need to air out here. You have good luck in whatever it is that you're doing, and there's going to be some type of uh, excitement to what you got going on or what you have planned or in store. I see four-leaf clover. So good luck and good fortune is on your side. We have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards for anyone. Be kind to yourself. Be authentic. And be happy. There's a male energy a divine masculine that wants you to go along with whatever it is that they tell you to do. Okay? But you're definitely going to have or see karma come around. This person is not someone that has the best interest for you. They think that they can mind fuck you or trick you into doing things here. We have bridge. So whatever issues you're going to come into... Uh, in December, you're going to be successfully overcoming that problem. We have heart. Here comes great happiness. I see valley. So you, not only are you winning or prospering in your personal life, in your career, it seems like you're opening up to the idea of putting your best foot forward and finding strength, okay? Seek out information that may help you is at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put this up here. So let's see what's going on in your love life or in this love bubble what's to come for the next few days July 22nd to the 25th some of you don't feel like you're getting enough from the person that you may be thinking of right now there could be jealous issues um, on your part or on this person's part here Someone may have self-sabotaged this connection between the two of you. I'm seeing here that you may be, if you're not with this person anymore, there is a completion of some type of partnership. You're coming into a place of commitment or union with someone else. Or another scenario that I'm hearing is that if you're with someone and there's something that they're not doing or that there's a dynamic that's missing in your relationship, I feel like this person may propose 
just to better the situation or to, to have you not nag them, don't take no pity proposal. That's not what we're going to do. They need to want to marry you because this is what they want, not because they want to shut you up. Okay? Some of you could have been engaged to be married to this person, but uh, you guys could have departed. So you're healing from heartbreak, getting out of that toxic situation. Can we get one at a time, Holy Spirit? For Virgo, July 22nd to the 25th. For Virgo, please. Okay, so we have not today. Some of you are not allowing this person to come back because it seems like you're avoiding them at all costs. Someone here could be jealous because they think that you're avoiding them because there's someone else in the situation. Some of you could still have your walls up because you're still angry about someone not telling you that they were in some type of committed relationship. I'm hearing, where is the love? Yeah, some of you are definitely getting out of a karmic relationship. But I do see that at the bottom of the deck now. Once you start learning to heal, you will better transcend the obstacles that you have that you're facing and step into this new phase because you're no longer checking for this person. All right, because this person, all they had up was a mask. They didn't let you in. And now someone here is admiring you while you're diminishing this person out of your memory here. to you through sexual energy and this is what you don't know you need to protect your energy by purifying your space okay this person sees you as an addiction or someone could be battling some type of drug addiction alcohol addiction uh, gambling addiction whatever have you you need to um, You need to focus on things that are going to keep you moving forward, okay? I don't see any blockages here for you or issues. Spirit is clearing you of these situations here. You're seeing through the fog. Now that you're healing, your vision is getting clearer. That someone here is admiring you, but at the same time talking shit about you, even if they're not with you here. Seems like jealousy to me. Some of you are embarking on a new job. You're getting hired. Congratulations. I see evil eye. Someone here is mad because you, you won't take them back here. You're not speaking to them. They're, they're wishing ill intent on you and they don't feel like they have anything to apologize for when they've been hiding shit from you with something that may have been significant about Thanksgiving, okay? They don't want to put your mind at ease. All they want to do is hold shit over your head that you've done. The truth is they don't want you to cleanse your energy because that's one step to you getting them out of your spiritual energy here. Someone is in a toxic family dynamic or they have been since Christmas. Things have gone downhill. Clarify this, cleanse your space. 
yeah, this person doesn't want you to realize or self-reflect because once you start picking up on things that you need to, you need to um, banish this person's energy out from. They know that you'll step away and be gone for good and they don't want that. Clarify this self-reflection. Yeah, they still want you to be in, out of the loop of something that may be significant to Halloween that they're trying to um, not remember here. Maybe you guys have broken up or there was some type of rumor that they came in contact with that um, made them pull away. What's this missing piece in reverse for Virgo? Yeah, some of you may have thought that you were going to celebrate with this person, but uh, there is no celebration here. And I feel like this person is trying to steer you off of your your uh, destined path. Okay, and some of you may need to speak to a therapist or someone that you trust. Or maybe this person is getting counseling. Some of you that thought you were going to get fired, you're actually getting hired here. And I see that there's a new relationship on the way for you. Okay. Someone's getting caught up. Someone's actions are getting, are catching up to them. Okay. And people are talking about it here, whatever this person is getting themselves into. You're currently being guided. All right. Whatever the significance is to Christmas time. This person is trying to forget about it. What else do we have for Virgo? July 22nd to the 25th here. July 22nd to the 25th. So I'm seeing here that you are sending past this situation. You're leaving it behind, okay? You're no longer going to allow someone to mimic you or to ridicule you or to keep you stuck in the past. You ain't got shit to apologize for. That's gross, okay? You're not going to apologize for ascension, for wanting better for yourself. You're not going to apologize for anything. But what you will apologize for is just putting yourself in that situation here. I'm hearing let it go, just let it go. What do we have here? We have Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Your feelings, attitudes from the past about you, use your intuition. Someone could be talking about how you used to act or the way that, that you used to be. I'm hearing that this person didn't like that you could stand up for yourself, be firm in uh, what you say and stand 10 toes on what you believe in, okay? And now you're free. You're free of this person, you're free of burdens, you're free of heartache. This person acted like they didn't know where you were coming from. They always wanted to be right. We have diplomatically relationships get a fair deal. So some of you are going to create partnerships here. I see relationships forming or getting stronger or you maintaining a relationship here, whether that's in career, personal or socially. In the first house, so I hear that something needs to be done immediately here. The way you project yourself. There's something that you need to do solo. You need to move solo right now. You need to get rid of this clown. We have in the 11th house. So for humanity's sake, your hopes and wishes, do it for the future. So you're creating a legacy here. And this person doesn't like that you are um, doing this without them. 
they're mad and that's why they're sending some evil eye in your direction but baby it's not working because look look what you're doing you're building a foundation for yourself you're um getting you're going to be getting money okay i'm hearing money 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 so there's something that you do as a full-time job or you're getting hired um, to do a job full-time. I'm hearing that something may take a lot of work, but do it at your own pace here. We have Saturn energy. Some of you are starting to become realistic about the goals that you set for yourself what you expect of others as well as yourself here at the bottom of the deck we have leo so you are a leader in your community whatever you do your platform um if you are a tarot reader or you have a platform on social media youtube what have you you are going to be able to touch others and inspire others to do better in their life okay you are full of creative ideas. Let's see what else your person wants to say to you. I bury myself in work to forget you. I will wait for a sign from you. I'm so attracted to you. I love you unconditionally. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and at the bottom of the deck it says I am grateful for this spiritual lesson so let's see why this person isn't available here what's going on why isn't this person available we're gonna catch tea together this person is working on themselves they could be looking at making changes in their life. Someone else could be pregnant. This is the news. Someone here is not available because they're pregnant or someone, they got someone pregnant here. Let's get more. What's this Empress? Let's get more tea. Let's get nosy. Okay, so they got someone pregnant that they don't have any emotional connection to. So they don't want to talk about it. Five of Swords. Someone's focusing on their inner peace. So I was right about what I said. They're working on themselves individually, but they, they got someone pregnant. Clarify this Five of Swords. Someone wants to make the situation better though. Eight of Pentacles, but they're too lazy to, to make leeway to come and uh, talk to you. Someone may have you blocked or you have them blocked here. That's a part of the reason why this new beginning won't take place for them because they're not putting the effort in to talk to you even if they wanted to. They think that you should just come to them like some lovesick puppy and that ain't gonna happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not next year. If they want change, they're gonna have to make change. Here's the Wheel of Fortune, here we go. They're gonna have to make changes all right, so let's tap into the read here. We have Ace of Wands coming out. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign or a Cancerian here, or there's a Cancer fire sign type of dynamic. Someone's unhappy in uh, a relationship here with a fire sign. I'm hearing that there's a lot of... Um, 
passive aggressiveness, compulsiveness. Someone here felt like they, they made a mistake investing in someone that they, they kind of uh, went out on a limb for. We have Ten of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Someone's kind of confused, but has some idea of how to clear the situation, but they're focusing on um, healing from something, taking something one day at a time. However, this person has somehow lost faith. He has Seven of Cups. So I'm getting here that someone is exploring options, but it still scares them to know that you are no longer in their life right now and that this may force them to um, maintain some type of change with or without you. Someone doesn't want to let you go, but they may have to, Ace of Cups. Someone's not emotionally fulfilled. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or there is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that doesn't um, keep someone fulfilled here. Ten of Wands. It keeps going back to a fire sign versus water sign. Okay. So someone's trying to clear themselves or free themselves of burdens to hold their head above water. Someone has been putting zip effort into maintaining the life that they want. Someone here is bored. For some of you Virgos, you don't really give a shit. It's not your battle to fight, Knight of Pentacles. And you find yourself, I don't know why Virgo, but all us Virgos have this um, problem with like, even if we don't fuck with the person, we still give a shit about what's going on with them or we take their problems on our heads, Queen of Wands. But I still see you guys living your best life. You're not allowing anybody to um, intimidate you or fuck with your, your mental, especially now that you're in this healing energy. Queen of Swords. I'm hearing that she'll tell a motherfucker off or where to go because they're just not going to get the best of you. I'm hearing that you hold that authority position. You're not going to allow anyone to uh, take that away from you this time. Okay? You're moving forward, even if that means delaying a new beginning with this person. But I see a water sign coming towards you here. But you're kind of bummed out because um, you had to move on fast without this person. Or this is happening also so soon and it could be happening around the time that you broke up with this person when you broke up with them yeah there is an offer coming from a water sign the lovers on the bottom of the deck but i feel like virgo this is gonna make you really happy this is something that you've been waiting for so don't turn it down especially if it's something that's better for you here two of cups okay this is gonna turn into something really serious you know, it's going to go from you talking to someone, getting to know them, and saying, hey, it's really not that bad here, all right? Some of you may get in your head and uh, uh, kind of backpedal, but Spirit is saying, like, take advantage of this here. This is for you. Ooh, this male karmic energy wants to be the acquaintance, wants to get back into your life to be something towards you. They don't really care what, as long as it's just being in your energy. Don't let them back, Virgo. Get away from this person. This person could be trying to find a way to get away from their person here. Ooh. Someone here is going to be taking a lie detector test. So someone's trying to find a way to beat this test here. I'm hearing it's been too long and I'm lost without you. 
I told you this person is not happy where they're at, but that's not your problem. You are divinely protected. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper, Virgo. I'm hearing that you don't really give a shit if people see you living your best life. You want them to see that you can move forward from them and that you're not hung up on this person. And that's the way that it should be, period. But just keep a low profile on your finances, not telling people or everyone your business. You know, just stay under the radar. Okay, so whoever this person is is coming towards you. This person is a night owl, a club rat. Okay? Stay wrapped up or strapped up because... You could be coming into some type of pregnancy scare. If this is someone new, some of you could become very fertile, meanwhile meeting this person. So, if you don't wanna scare, hold out. Hold off on that shit. Yeah, someone wants to redeem themselves, number 60. I'm hearing that some of you are musically gifted. You guys are singers. I'm um, just very vocal here. Someone's into singing. Okay, so we have emergency. I don't know, for some of you, this person could be into music as well. And I think they're gonna try to come back towards you to, to give you some type of offer to pursue music here. This is just a tactic to get back into your good graces. We have emergency. Why is this here? Wow, so I got this in my other read. Someone's definitely trying to break into your home. Someone has no boundaries, bro. Seriously. Someone has no fucking boundaries. A physical altercation could break out. I'm hearing that you're praying for this person. Like, you have no bad blood with them, but you will still remember what has been done. Wow. So, I'm hearing that this person has tried to either or will be trying to get you pregnant. Like I just said, this person's slipping back into their old ways and they've already told someone about what their plan is here. Unbelievable series of events. I'm hearing don't rekindle with this person. No matter how frustrated they the fuck they are, stay unfazed, stay unbothered. Because it's the wrong direction that you'd be going in. You're spiritually guided here. Get away from this fake and phony motherfucker. This is no coincidence. Everything fucking happens for a reason, bitch. And that's exactly what the fuck is going on. Period. Period. This person's trying to trap you. Or they got someone pregnant. Either or either. But I feel like it's about this rumor that's going on with them. They have someone pregnant or they plan on getting you pregnant to trap you. You are not anyone's fucking puppet. Let's get some channeled messages. Okay, so some of you can't believe something or are in disbelief about something here. I was testing you to see if you cared. Someone here is bored. Some of you are bored with some of your co-workers because of their heightened jealousy towards you. You don't see them as a threat. Someone's trying to dig into who the fuck you are because you, you're this new person on board. They're trying to find out anything or everything. 
about you. We have prove it, don't talk about it, be about it. Equal love. This person feels like if they get you pregnant that you'll love them. This person doesn't want to share you, so they're going to apply that pressure because they see that you were the best thing that they've ever had. Let's see what else is here for Virgo. Someone sees you soaking up all your glory. You're just in this content energy. Whatever it is that you do to outshine someone, keep that top secret. Don't tell them what, what's in that pie that makes you so good or keeps you successful. Because then they're going to try to doppelganger you, duplicate your energy. You could be imitated, but you could never be duplicated. You're a rare vibe. Yep. Someone definitely is online stalking you to scare you, so keep your grass cut low. Some of you are walking into a new apartment. You may be um, cutting your hair this summer, or maybe this is a look that you want to go for, something different. Remember I told you, it's either you're getting new wardrobe or you're changing your look. But someone likes it here, someone's been paying attention. So some of you may be going the shorter route with hair. Maybe it's just too hot. Or maybe you're just looking for a, a different style. You're aiming for a change. Let's see what else we got. Okay. So someone's trying to use some type of evil eye to control you or what you do or what you got going on here. But you're the trendsetter. Exactly what I said. Trendsetting energy. All right. Virgos. What else can we find out here? Spell work is being reversed. It's not working. And they're going to get themselves caught up in a lie or having to tell the truth about something. Someone's guilty conscience is going to get them caught up here. You're going to realize that this person is a liability so that you may have to keep your distance from them. We have hypnosis. Someone was trying to do some type of spell work to reverse whatever financial gain was coming in. But they're going to have to spill the beans. I'm hearing like they're going to be crying. We have child support case. Someone is bringing someone to court because they were friend zone. And they didn't like that too much. So it's like they're doing this to get revenge on this person or to get money from them as revenge. Okay, so for some of you, this person held back for a reason and now they're, they're seeking companionship to fill a void so they could be exploring options or this could be you. Okay, so there's something here that has to do with trust. You're needing to build trust to overcome obstacles, okay? You were betrayed by a fake friend. For some of you, this person's name started with a K, whoever this fake friend was. We have romantic. Some of you are going to be romantic or find romance with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm seeing I have an emotional connection to you. Ooh, look, we have STI, STD, checkup. I want to make you proud. Oh my God, whoever this person is that is, you know, into the nightlife, this person has an STI or an STD, okay? 
be careful. Some of you need to get a checkup as well. Just to make sure, like, if you having fun, you're still good. If you're going to have fun, strap it up before you slap it up. This person wants you to come and see them. Because they've hit rock bottom. Their heart yearns for you. This could be a cancer. But this person has a way with their words. And it may not be all so nice here. This could be a fire sign. Okay, any other messages that we have here that the spiritual realm would like to tell you? Any more advice from spirit for the next few days, July 22nd to the 25th? here about the king of wands some of you spirit is saying that if there's something that you're no longer passionate about don't put yourself in it do something that you love or invest in something that you love here Page of Pentacles. I'm here and keep your eye on the prize. Don't get in your feelings. Keep your eye on the prize in order to be the boss. Pays it, it, it's I'm hearing that saying, pays the cost to be the boss. Paid the cost to be the boss. Four of Pentacles. Let's see, let's get one more card here. We have shadow work. Someone here needs to work on their, their inner self, inner work on themselves here because it's causing a lot of uh, conflict, inner conflict. All right. So that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates, Virgo. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.